It's one thing to run these beautiful boats over in West Palm Beach to the Bahamas, but it's another thing to run it here off the east coast of Australia. And last week we picked this boat off the ship from Newcastle, headed out the heads into a one and a half, two metre head sea, which is proper ocean we get off Australia, and the way it performed just absolutely blew our mind. As we went through the heads, I'm like, oh God, we've got no clears up, this is going to be wet. And the first wave, mate, not a drop over the bow, no, nothing over the bridge, and we stayed like that the whole way to Sydney. I think there was one and that was my fault. I was playing around with something. We were at dinner with Pat and he was uh, talking about sending the boats to Weight Watchers to get them faster and more agile. And this boat's definitely been to Weight Watchers. I think even previous Viking owners would be impressed with how well these new things manoeuvre and ride. They've invested a lot of time, money, and got a really good engineering team involved over the last 10 years to make these boats run better, run faster and run drier. This boat's a classic example of it all paying off. The Optima steering is uh, unbelievable. The, the ability to steer the boat um, quickly and you know, put it where you want it. Like steering a 17 foot ski boat, the way you can dial the steering down from three and a half turns lock to lock or, or up to seven and a half and being able to turn Quarter ahead sea that comes up quick on you and then quickly turn back into the trough of the wave. Uh, not only does it make it a more comfortable and dry ride, but also a lot more fun as well. The uh, MAN 1550s, 5200 newton metres of torque delivered at 1200 RPM. So it's unbelievable when you, as soon as you clock over that 1200 RPM, the ability just to accelerate the power's there and it's right there at your fingertips. It's acceleration is unbelievable from a standstill. Also, the fuel economy, when you're cruising at sort of eight knots, you're talking about nine litres an engine, which is combined of 18 litres, then you put a generator on top of that and you, you're talking about 25 litres per hour. Mate, your range is easy, comfortable, 1,500 miles with, with fuel in reserve. So, put it in perspective, New Zealand from Sydney's, you know, 1,300 miles. And, you comfortably do that without having to worry about taking any bladders and storing fuel on your deck. You know, we do a lot of long distance fishing here in Australia, fishing from Sydney to Cairns, a lot of people, and Sydney to Cairns without a fuel stop is um, pretty impressive. It's a really big boat in a, in a smaller 54 where you can really get that range and the, the travel out of it. In the US, they don't muck around with power, so there's plenty, plenty of power in the bow thruster. Also can help when you're fighting a fish. It's really responsive. Even the ability to be able to transfer fuel and raise the transom. So if you're backing down and fishing in big seas, you've got the tra more transom out of the water and by a click of a button, you can have the fuel transferred back into the aft tank for the, for the run in. And then to be able to be back to the bar quicker with more fish, I mean, I think that's win, 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 win. <laughs> They're a semi-custom boat, so the ability to be able to set this helm station up. Everything's laid out here perfectly for, you know, how we fish and run these boats in Australia. You've know, got sea keepers, rudder angles and steering. We've got a little Furuno 12-inch screen there with the two TZ-19s here. And You've got two 6-inch MAN displays up the top here, which is the new IC system. You can scroll through there. All the telemetry's there, and straight from the engine room. Uh, also got emergency backup controls that, that run through that IC system. The Sea Keeper 9 on this boat too, which is the gyro stabiliser. They're obviously a game changer in every boat, from small centre consoles that we do, these bigger convertibles. I mean, the difference it makes in a day's fishing, you know. You can fish all day long and not feel absolutely wrecked at the end of the day. Hop in this thing and it's, it's huge in the engine room. You get on a, a 52 or a 56 and you get in the engine room, you don't have that full head height. Really well laid out. You, know, you can walk clearly, easily around both engines. Uh, you can stand up full head height in the engine room. Um, really functional. Everyone I've taken through it is just thrown back at the finish and the quality of build. Because the people building the boats, when they're not building them, they're out fishing them and they're using them. And you can tell that in the Vikings. You know, that's their saying, to build a better boat every day, and that's certainly what the Healy's and Viking yachts are doing. So you've got to see and feel and ride these things yourself. So come on down and let's go for a run.